Welcome back to the shop. I'm Kirk Anderson. When I made my workbench, I decided to put some bench holes in the top. The problem is that it only allowed for about five inches of clearance from the top of the workbench to the top of the drawer box, which basically made it useless for using any traditional hold fasts, as they would bottom out at the top of the drawer box before they got a hold of the workpiece. Now, for every problem, there is a solution. And the solution I came up with, well, I didn't come up with it, I've seen it before, is to make dog hole clamps out of regular F-style clamps. Now, since you're basically destroying these clamps when you do this, it's advisable to use the cheapest clamps you can get. And that's where these Harbor Freight clamps come into play. A six inch Harbor Freight F-style clamp is three bucks. A 12 inch is four bucks. Now, if you get anything out of this video, please give it a like with a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit that bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's see how I transformed these clamps. First thing in preparing the clamps for the transformation is to cut the bottom grip off. Now, I did try to just drill out the rivet but it was also tacked in there. So I got the angle grinder out and just cut it off. Now I will be putting a piece of three quarter inch dowel on the end of the clamp, but I need to cut a slot in the dowel for the clamp to fit into. And the easiest way I determined to do that was on the table saw with a jig that I built. Just clamp the dowel in the jig and with two passes over the table saw blade, and it cuts a nice slot in there for the clamp to fit in. Kind of looks like a closed fit. In attaching the dowel to the clamp, I will be drilling some holes to put some pegs in. The easiest way to drill a hole into two pieces and have it line up perfectly is to drill both pieces at the same time. I made a little jig to hold the pieces while I'm drilling it. And I didn't drill it all at once, I did it in steps. To secure the dowel to the clamp, I'm mixing up some epoxy. I put a generous amount of epoxy on the dowel and on the clamp, and then just slid the dowel onto the clamp. And then I just drove in the dowel pin and then let it sit to cure. Once the epoxy had cured, I just used a plus trim saw and cut off the pins that were sticking out. Now the top pins, I did not cut flush. I let them stick out a little bit to keep the clamp from going all the way through the dog hole. And then the finishing touch was just to sand it down to make sure that it fit nicely in the dog hole. And there it is. It fits nicely in the dog hole and it's easy to clamp pieces to the workbench. No movement here. Well, that completes my transformation of Harbor Freight clamps to dog hole clamps. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit that bell that so you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. And as always, all you woodworkers out there, just get out there and cut some wood.